here with a look at Caspa. Um, first off, we're going to show uh, this Nikki. Uh, this is the Japanese stock market here. Um, this is what is being blamed for the big pullback. All right, this thing has not had a pullback like this for even comparable to it. And, um, it's back to 1990. This chart doesn't go back that far, but. Uh, back in 1990 now structurally wise okay this thing is still still holding all right if it breaks obviously if it breaks this line here um, got some major massive problems of course it has major problems right now this thing uh, is down what's it down 4.37 percent for the day at 33.4 this thing went down down to 30,720 all right now the you know the, the Fibonacci levels uh, if we go off our low right over here right here okay we're right six one eight seven oh two right in that zone all right and what does normally a fall like this end up producing all right you can see it here quite honestly I, I, personally I, th I think this has some more down room you know if you look at this one two three retrace back up maybe 50 per 382 to 50 percent retracement and then a fifth wave down here all right so maybe some more downward action in this right but maybe right back down to the trend line here we'll just have to see how this plays out you know who was expecting that yesterday out of uh out of bitcoin here i mean this thing uh just took a major major uh dump last night i've i mean double digits this thing had a high of 58 and went down to 49 almost double digit losses you know nine thousand some dollars overnight that's insane well it wasn't was it that much overnight yeah yeah this big red candle right here broke that structure broke the uh the target area we were looking for right so we might as well uh, get that off there um obviously uh, this thing here also I believe it has more down room you know if you come in here let's go in on a four hour chart well how about an eight hour there you go you can see it a little bit better here all right um, once again you know don't get me wrong I don't think our bull run I don't think this bull runs over I think us uh, you know maybe a retrace back up to here and then a final flush down maybe down to a 702 or something you know you would be expecting uh, no more than a 50% retracement here which would put up right, right back up close to that trend line all right we zoom in on this 50% retracement is up here that's weird right where I stopped that huh um, 382 at least okay 382 to 50 percent and then maybe one more rollover here you know the way it's the way if you believe you know if you believe in Elliott wave theory um it, it looks like it could have one more push down and out on a weekly here you know you'd be looking uh you know that'd be pretty scary wouldn't it wow yeah considering where we're at i mean let's open this up I don't need weekly, you know, we're going off this low right down here. Just adjust it just a hair, right about there. You know, it could pull us down to four thirty-nine to forty-three thousand bucks. Boy would that shake some people out or what. Alright, and technically this uh this would not um believe it or not, it would not break uh, the uh the overall structure we're looking at. You know, say it pulls down to this 702 at 39, all right? Would that uh, erase any bull market type ideas here? No. Right down to there, all right? What do we still have here? All right, you still have. Let's get this off here. You know, nothing would be broke here. You know, until it takes out one, two, three. Four, five. You'd still be looking, you know, at a possible five waves up here until it took out down here, uh, thirty thousand uh, bucks. You're still above this wave one, two. 
all right um, I still totally believe this is in play can we pull down more yeah absolutely and it'll put total fear in the market I mean it it will wipe it'll take so many people out of here um, and that's what happens you know right and then uh, people won't believe it's still a rally just like the uh, oh geez the, the market index thing you know it said uh, people don't believe it's a rally this is a fake rally blah 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 you know oh it's for real and then by the time they get back in you know uh, most of the moves already over with you know but if we come in down here and go off this low all right and look for uh you know possible bounce areas down through here um you know it would spell more downside for sure all right like i said 43 39 thousand bucks all right absolutely that would that would be terrifying all right in the meantime i would expect a relief rally uh, which we're getting right now uh, if you come in on the hourly yeah, you can see here you're getting a get a little bit of a bounce here um you know maybe back up to this trend line if we come out here uh, let's get uh you know here to here would be our wave two Go from the top down to the bottom. Wouldn't expect it to retrace any more than 57,000. All right, if it does that much, 55.3 might be it. That's your 3.82. Uh, then a rollover. So one of two ways. It's either uh, coming up to here and rolling over, uh, in my opinion, or coming up to the 50% and, and rolling over. One of the two. All right, and we're going to get five waves down out of this. Um, if this follows through, okay, if it breaks up 57.3, if it takes out the 50%, uh, well, then this thing could be rallying towards the upside, all right? It would be back inside that wedge, which would be massive, uh, obviously, um, and uh, that would spell out some different stuff, but quite honestly, I think we have some more down room here, all right? So uh, don't be surprised uh, with Bitcoin if this thing, like I said, Heads down to 39 to 43,000 bucks. That's your 618 and 702, um, and then gets gets a uh, head back up after that. All right, let's put a box in there. All right, of course we weren't expecting it to come this low. Nobody was. I've seen some of the best traders in the world down millions of dollars off this move. Millions, millions and millions of dollars. People are down. The best traders in the world. So you don't always see it coming. You know what I mean? Uh, that's for sure. Um, but this, uh, the, like I said, this, uh, this no, the, uh, Niki, is that how you pronounce it? Um, this thing is right around a 618702, uh, right around a major, major support line that this thing has to hold. I mean, this thing goes back uh, quite a ways. Um, you know, if we go out on a weekly chart. All right, you have a beginning of this thing back way back here in uh, 2012 all right so definitely don't want to see a break of that and you can see here um, you know 29,000 28 to 29,000 bucks um, the your 786 is down here what is that 28 let's pull that over a little bit so we can see that yeah right about 28 28,000 so a little bit more downside maybe and then a push up and the same thing here you know with every the same thing here uh, applies with everything else look what we got going on you know looks to me one two three relief rally up uh, we four you know and five maybe right down to that support line we'll have to see how that plays out now over here the total crypto market cap uh, this thing is holding up so far uh, you can see it holding this wedge still um, has not broken uh, structure in here so far you know that 618 uh, and 702 are down here a little bit um, but uh, so far holding structure all right the total market cap it is down uh, almost 8% uh, had a low 1.69 and a high at 2.018 all right so everything is taking a beating today I mean absolutely everything out there we're gonna look at the Casper chart here and look for uh, look for some bottoms here but you can see up through here um, right here gold 
down 37 bucks after it hit this uh, 1618 which I found pretty interesting here look at that hit the 1618 extension that's why I love using these Fibonacci guys that's why I preach them so much man they price always has a reaction around around key levels all right you have gold um, silver uh, where the heck's my silver chart at it's uh, right here you know it's down dollar 42 nothing major um, but it's only made a 50% retracement here you know I totally think silver has some ways to go up uh, you know the Dow Jones today everybody thinks uh, the government's gonna step in here and print money uh, even the DXY you know 102.7 um, it's down uh, half a percent um, then you got the Dow Jones down over a thousand points over a thousand points look at this it did the full 4.236 extension right up here um, then this fifth wave the target was up at 42,000 boy just about nailed it um, and look at this down a thousand points all right where's the Nasdaq uh, the Nasdaq is right back here it's down 540 550 points look at this Unbelievable and the S&P 500 I heard that was down quite a bit too uh, the SPX uh, 167 now Okay, so not too bad um, Yeah, pretty crazy, huh? Pretty pretty crazy out there today. So we'll see what uh, the Abrati The Russell look at that after we got that rejection off there um, off that 786 pretty hard rejection too right back down to a support line here so we'll see if it holds it or not um, that's going to be pretty interesting to see I mean if we get this stuff off here um, you know look for retracement levels for this you know, right up to the top here you know, technically this thing could pull pull down pretty decent all right now if we come over here and take a look i want to show you guys some stuff on here because i found this pretty interesting look at this blackrock fidelity grayscale and micro strategy have not sold their bitcoin despite the crash um pretty interesting huh none of these guys um are selling their bitcoin is this going to come in any clearer uh no not really you know but uh, that's pretty impressive. You like to see that. You don't want to see the big guys getting rid of their Bitcoin. You know, come down through here. Look at this. We have never been down 1,000 points ever. Not even intraday on the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ has never been down 1,000 points. That's pretty crazy. Um, world events. Uh, meme coins are going to be at much higher market caps when bitcoin is above 150,000. some of us still ask the stupid question of is my meme coin going to survive well we'll see look at this bitcoin hashtag bitcoin hashtag market crash hashtag stock market over a billion <coughs> excuse me over a billion dollars in liquidations over the last 24 hours stock markets across the world crash in two days as a global recession may arrive man major fear out there right uh nero an absolute monster Nero for safety during the market crash did you listen uh, i'm not real familiar with that when you expect a big market crash refer to this chart in Robert's history what is this yeah, a lot of times these mark lows you know what I mean when when uh, uh, especially when sentiment is where it's at um, I'm ready for this market crash to turn into a higher low <laughs> are you yeah you know, you know getting lower highs and uh, lower lows but uh, breaking Bitcoin ETFs see over three billion in volume in the first hour of trading uh, after a global market crash you know people buying the fear uh, the Asian market crashed nifty to open gap down by uh, 350 points um, CT about cause to read this is a must listen okay well 
Trump saying in 2020 that the stock stock market will crash if Biden is elected. <laughs> the Dow hitting 40,000 for the first time ever in history today. Pretty crazy. Yeah, big time right now. Whoops, sorry about that. That is apparently a uh, uh, yeah, 1,000 mold. Okay. Well. Um. All right, so yeah, pretty crazy. That 1,000 bonk as in a trade there, so uh, that's good to see. Don't I'm not real crazy about trading on days like this. You know, it makes me makes me a little nervous, but uh, I'll risk a little bit of money. Nothing major. Look at a peta hash over here, guys. 665 and a quarter. That's incredible. Let's look at the addresses. This is probably pretty ugly. You know, don't sell you know, this is like the worst time you know my, my personal opinion don't listen to me I'm not a financial advisor guys but this is really not uh, not the time you want to sell you know you want to wait at least if, if anything would be over with you want to wait for a relief rally you know you always get them no, this ain't ugly at all yeah you see people actually stacking look at the sharks the last 24 hours plus 14 We've even added a whale in the last 24 hours. So this is where the big guys see opportunity um, in the market. You know, uh, they can buy the, the way down there. That makes their average price, average buy-in a lot lower. You know, once they, uh, they still wonder when you're buying a million to 10 million, um, 14 over the last 24 hours. That's pretty impressive. Let's go over to Casper here. All right. Now, some stuff I want to go over on this thing too. All right. Um, yesterday we were going off right up here off this low here. I believe so. Maybe we were up in here. Yeah, we were up in there. Okay. Um, then we got this low here. Actually, I want to come down and come off of this one. All right. Uh, and once again, if we zoom in on this, let's go in on a four hour. All right, you can possibly see here, you know, same thing maybe going on with Caspa, so as it's going on with Bitcoin and 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 some other stuff here. But it's possibly, you know, uh, you could have one, two, three, four, and a five. You know, you could have one more push down here. So far, this thing is retraced. How much? You know, we're getting close to that 50 percent here. Fifty percent is at uh, sixteen two thirty seven. All right, that's the highest I, I plan on really seeing this come up, um, and uh, and we'll see what happens here. But me personally, I, I'm looking for one more possible push down here. All right, let's take a look at the RSI's here in Caspa. The four hour, uh, the four hours just turning up way oversold man look how oversold this thing is uh the eight hour right on the bottom man looks great 12 hour on the bottom daily on the bottom um let's look at something here i just don't see any fourth wave uh any kind of four wave pullback besides right here fourth wave uh let's look at the three day and the five day You got your three day. Let's see here. Oh, I apologize. I don't know why I did that. Let's come over here and uh, and pull this up. Just been a crazy, crazy day out there, huh? Last twenty four hours has been. Uh, absolutely insane I know what's going on here there we go we've got to hook up to my extender sorry about that that should do her come on I can reset my other chart here let's see Hmm. Let me just give it a second here. I apologize. 
everything else here connected strong Wi-Fi 5G let's get the 5G one here and connect I apologize I'm out in my garage doing them here this thing should uh, reboot here in just a second but uh, definitely looking for some more downside action here guys uh, me personally I think this just looks like a fourth wave pullback and, and then one more push down who knows could be wrong could be a bottom um, you know and uh, I hope I am wrong and, and I hope this thing uh, starts marching back up towards the upside I really do uh, nothing would make me happier as a holder um, but I am playing it very cautiously and am watching for that one more possible flush down here okay so I will be keeping an eye on that I apologize this thing isn't going to reload up please hit that like and subscribe guys big shout out to the members we'll be back over there trading soon let's let this market cool down um, before we get into uh, the volatility is just way too crazy right now to, to be getting in trades so um, all right thank you so much guys I'll talk to you soon